So if now I click on uh, generate mask, I should see a pop up. And that's it. So then I can draw a square around myself and voila. When I started this channel, I wasn't planning on making so many videos about Darktable, but I had no choice because it has been so much fun and every week I'm learning something new. So what I've learned in the last few weeks is that we can create a plugin that will show up in the darkroom. Also, there is a module we can use to import external mask. This means, in theory, we can create a plugin that will feed your image to an AI that will generate mask. And then we can import these masks back inside Darktable. When I realize that, I cancel everything I had planned on my calendar to work on that project. And I'm now to a point I can generate an AI mask from Darktable. So if you want to see it in action, stick around. Okay, so I made a plugin I call Sam2. So the reason I name it like this is because it's using the segment anything model from Meta AI. So uh, that's a model I've tried and I got some uh, great result. Uh, so basically you can use it to uh, generate mask uh, for pictures and videos. So we will start uh, with this picture. So when you enter the dark room, uh, what the plugin does is uh, on the side panel, it will create a new module called SAM2. So this picture is very simple because we only have a few elements. So we have uh, the background, the bird, and there are two rocks uh, right there. So let's say I want to create a mask for the bird and the background. So I think this can be done using the built-in masking tool of Darktable. Uh, but for this video, we will use the SAM2 plugin I made. The way the plugin works is first you have to select the model. So SAM2 is available in different sizes, so you can choose whatever you want. Then before feeding the image to the AI, I'm creating a temporary PNG file. So if I put zero, the image will stay full scale and the model will take longer to uh, find a mask. So uh, what I found useful is to use a value around 1000. So I think it's a good trade-off between quality and speed. Then we have to select the number of masks we want to generate. So the way this things work is the AI will analyze the picture and generate a lot of masks. And then it will use a scoring system to select the best uh, objects. So if, for example, I set the number of masks to generate to five, it will simply select the five best masks it generates. So if I try it now, we can click on auto mask and it will take approximately 40 seconds for the model to generate the masks. So once the masks are generated, they will automatically appear in the same folder as the original picture. So now we can go back to Darktable and open the external raster mask module. Once enabled, we can search for the mask we just created. So as you can see, the first mask was for the background. So it's not perfect, so uh, it missed some part uh, on top of the picture, as well as right there. Uh, but I think this can easily be fixed with uh, GIMP. Next, if we look at the second mask, then it selected the rock right there. Next, we have the second rock. And then we have the bird. Uh, and the last one is, yeah, I believe that's uh, some grass. So for now, let's say I select the bird right there. Uh, let's say I... So from any modules, we can add uh, the external mask. So if I go there, I can now, uh, sorry, I can select external raster mask. And then I now have a mask that will cover my bird. Uh, if I want, I can add some feather, whoops, sorry, and blur. You can also revert it if you want to apply the mask uh, elsewhere. Now let's try with this picture. So on a picture like this, I may want a mask for the sky, another one for the foreground, and uh, let's say it's Halloween and I want to put a mask on myself. So for this example, let's generate 10 masks. 
So now let's import that into dark table. So again, raster. So as you can see, I have a mask for the sky, another one for the foreground, but it misses some elements, so it's not perfect. Uh, then I have a few elements in the foreground. And that's it. So there isn't any mask for uh, myself. And that's bring me to some of the limitations. So with some other software, you can draw a box and the AI will try to find mask uh, within that box. Right now, I've not been able to do that from Darktable, but the SAM2 model itself is able to do that. So let me show you. So SAM2 is running inside a Docker container. So the script we use with Darktable is the Automask PFM. But I also made two Python scripts we can use to uh, generate a mask using boxes. The problem I have right now is that I'm not able to run them from the plugin inside Darktable. But if I run it from my terminal, uh, it works perfectly. So let me show you. So if I run this command, my Python script will open a window where I will be able to draw a box. So now if I draw a square around myself and I press enter, the AI should generate a mask within that box. So now if we look at what the AI did, uh, we can see that it worked perfectly. So there is a mask on myself like if it was Halloween. The problem is that I wasn't able to run that script from Darktable, but then I tried another solution. So I'm also able to run this command. And as you can see, I've added some arguments. These are the coordinates of the box on my image. So if I run this model and open the mask that was generated, you can see that it worked perfectly. So I'm able to run that script from Darktable. So in theory, I should be able to add boxes where you can manually enter the coordinates of the box you want. But this is not very user friendly. So ideally, I would like to click on a button in the plugin and uh, that will let me draw a box around the area I want and then the script will generate the mask. But right now, I didn't see anything in the Lua script documentation that would let me do something like that. So if you have experience with Darktable Lua API uh, and you know a way for doing this, uh, let me know in the comments because that will be very useful. So the goal would be to get the box start and end point. So then I can feed that to the function and generate the mask. Okay guys, so this is me from the future. So uh, the best option is exactly like I said earlier. So uh, if there was something within the Lua script that would let us uh, draw a box, uh, then that would be more integrated into Darktable. Uh, so the solution I found, I think it's not very integrated, but it works. So let me show you. So as you can see right now, I've changed the plugin a little bit. So there is a checkbox, so we can choose between uh, auto mask and uh, boxes. So uh, when the, the checkbox is not ticked, it means we will use boxes. So if now I click on uh, generate mask, I should see a pop up. And that's it. So then I can draw a square around myself and then the mask should be generated and voila as you saw it's not perfect but i think there are ways for fixing the remaining issues but still i'm already using it on some pictures and i think it's working great also if you know ways for improving it let me know in the comments for example if you know different ai model that would work best or if you know, oh, I can draw a box inside Darktable, that would be very useful. So that's it for me. See you next time.